So, okay. I think I need I think we both need to explain a little bit about last year. Yes. Why yes. things did not happen the way we planned. And I felt really bad. I know, me too. Okay, last year was very bad for both of us. Indeed. I mean, I think we bickered more last year than I've ever bickered with her before. I think so. Yeah. Indeed. And it we, was... It we was, were at each other's throats. We were... Indeed. We were at, you know, it was a weird time. It was weird. I mean, she had her health issues going on. Indeed. I had my mental issues going on and my health issues. Indeed. And I know a lot of you were like, oh my God, another medical video for both of them? Yes. <laughs> We had issues, and they were legit. Yes. Um, and they're still there. A lot of mine started with a tooth. <laughs> that, it, that was so weird, wasn't it? It was. It just down-spiraled from there. It, I went in for an infected tooth, and after that, it seemed like everything down-spiraled. Spiraled. I believe that going to... I mean, I think that having the crazy lady, as you guys know her by um, When You Drink Too Much from Christine's video. I did not like her. Yeah. Okay, she was a complete and utter nut job the first time Christine ever met her. She choked out my friend. She did. She choked her. Choked her. Yeah. Cops were almost called. I almost beat her ass. It Indeed. was a bad night. Indeed. Um, so, I mean, like you guys have all... I've, I think I've gotten into the the story about me and the domestic violence when I was growing up with the drinking mm. and stuff like that. Well, living with this woman was basically just like that. Mm. It was bad. And it was so hard for me to express that to anybody. So I did try the therapy. The therapy didn't work. It was actually worse for me because they weren't understanding that the situation I was in was my trigger. And until that trigger was removed, I was not going to get better. I was just going to down spiral. And the only thing that I did find that worked was the volume. Yeah. It numbed me out. I mean, I literally hid in my bedroom, guys. I didn't bother this woman. She bothered me. Indeed. She came looking for a fight. She did. I've seen her come looking for you. Yes. <laughs> she did. It was terrible. Like, I, I would literally put my headphones on and sit in the dark and drown her out. That was something I used to do when I was 14, hiding from my mother. Mm. So when I went to therapy, he tried to examine my brain, as I call it. <laughs> and it actually, I did not tell you guys this. I think I told you. Maybe. I down spiraled. Yes, yes. Um, I wasn't eating. I was working profusely, like, to the point where... I'm surprised I was alive. I'm surprised, yeah. I was surprised I was even functioning. Yes. And I started self-harming again. That's my... Oh, you go, girl! Yeah. <laughs> Fixing that. <laughs> when I get stressed out now, it's a little snap now. Go, instead girl. Instead of freaking out. Yes. <laughs> that's why this is there. I wonder in case, why that's yes, there. In case anybody was wondering, that was actually something... You taught me. Indeed. Yes. I am teaching her. Yes. So that's there. My husband doesn't know what that's there, but oh. and he's he's kind of oblivious to it. He catches it like when the lights are off and the clothes are off, and he'll uh, run his hand and he's like, "Hmm, what is that?" <laughs> I'm like, "Shit." Just like the plant got me. Yeah. The cat got me. Yes, yeah, the cat. Mm, what was that? But it literally started after like everything picked up. So I started that again. And I'd say, like, it's gotten better since she's been gone. But I was, I was popping pills again, just to numb the pain. The volumes? Uh, not the volumes, the painkillers. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, I was a painkiller popper. <laughs> it was bad. I was so drugged up. And then I had to find out about the rheumatoid and all of that. And then I had that stupid serotonin syndrome scare. That's not even cool. <sighs> So I like got all this thrown at me at once. And I was like trying to do everything that I was saying I was gonna do, but it's just like everything wouldn't let me do it. And then I felt bad because I felt like I was letting her down. I was just more concerned about you. I, I know. didn't know what to do. <laughs> I know, and then it seemed like though that I started triggering her. Indeed, yes. Cause that could be a trigger from when I was growing up. Right. Yeah. And then I was triggering her, so then she was getting upset with me and it wasn't even well, triggers. Okay. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that I was going through, like, I didn't, I didn't want to, it's, and load it on her. 
because I didn't want to upset her and I didn't want to trigger her. Indeed. <laughs> and I think because I was withholding all that from her, she thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> Sometimes a little bit. Yeah! Just a little bit. And that caused a lot of fights between us, and it literally, like, broke my heart. Indeed. I was so sad. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't want to fight with her, because she's, like, the one person I talk to every day. Indeed. And you're the one person I can tell things to. Right. Like, like deep things. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, we, we have each other, and it got to the point where we were attacking each other. Yes. And I did not like that. No. And as much as we didn't like it... We kept doing it. Yes. It was so strange. <laughs> yes. And I guess it's because we're so much alike. Probably. Mm -hmm. And as much as we wanted to help each other when we both got to that point of we just, just not. It, there was no helping each other when we both needed to help ourselves. Yes. Because I was worried about her and she was worried about me. And the more we worried, the more it caused us to downslide even more. And we got anxious. And yes. That, yeah, it does not help. And now it seems like... She's in a good place, and I'm in a good place. So we can finally start doing what we need to do. Indeed. And repair things. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. And I think we're closer now than we've been. True story. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I was like, it's so sad, because, like, for a while, like, all last year, I kept telling myself, I'm like, it's so sad that I felt closer to you when I was miles away. I know. <laughs> and I was like, why did I move back? I know. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> but I have learned a lot of things from a lot of my friends, like... I've learned like who I can trust. Like I know that I can trust you, and I know I can trust Jelly. Mm -hmm. And those are my two friends. Like when Grandma passed away, well, of course you called me to tell me. Yes. But you know it was her grandma too. But Indeed. the only person to call and check on me was Jelly. Really? That was it. Whoa. Yeah. If that would have been me last year, I would have wallowed in it. Probably picked a fight with them. But I'm not. I'm better now. Hey. I'm letting things slide now. I'm not as bad. Not working is killing me. It's driving me nuts. Maybe you, maybe you can find something else to do that. Like work on YouTube stuff. Yes, that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, it is harder when the kids are home. Yes. Um, like, you know, because, I mean, we can't really afford the babysitter right now. Mm -hmm. Now, when John gets his bigger shop, he wants me to come up there and do secretary work. You could sit down and do that. He better pay me. He better pay me, mother. He, be he better pay me. I don't care if it's his wife or not. You better pay me something. You are giving him a service. Yes. Yes. He you better need, pay me. You need compensation. Mm -hmm. Be like, John, I want $10 an hour. Yes. He used to pay me 30 when John, I, I want $30 an hour. When I was actually helping scuff the cars yeah. and stuff, he was paying me $30 an hour. John, I want $30. <laughs> Look at them fingers moving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did contact my boss, but she hasn't contacted me back. I'm thinking she's mulling it over because of my back issues. Yeah, that would make me nervous. Um, if anything, I would have to do get a back brace and I would not be able to lift. Oh, girl. I feel oh. a little stiffy. But my posture would be good. And yeah, yeah. And that was another thing, like, I've noticed since I've gained this weight back, my posture sucks. You slouch bad. more? Mm-hmm. When I was skinny, I was like all proud, so I was like, hey, hey, hey. well that and I didn't have these damn boobs. <laughs> They're freaking huge now. But big boobs ruining our family. Yes. Grandma had these. I have double these now. It's all C's. I don't have that. I, I went down. God. I went down to a D or a C when I was when I lost the weight. So, so that was that was tolerable. I could deal with that. I was mm -hmm. back in my little bikini. I was happy. Yeah, she was sliding on the slip and slide. Yeah, sliding on the slip and slide. Sliding on the slip and slide. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I think, you know, the part when the last time I, like, shut her out was after Crazy left, I think it finally, I hurt my back again. Mmm. And I went into the hospital and they gave me that. This could possibly paralyze you. And that was one of those self-wallowing, let it consume me moments where it just hit me, and I was just miserable. Very depressed. That's a very hard thing to hear, though. Yes. Might be paralyzed. Yeah. And it was, like, really hard, and and, and you were going through some stuff at that time, too. And yeah. So I was like, okay, give it a couple days. I shouldn't have been so nasty, though. I was a little nasty towards <laughs> you, her. You couldn't help it, though. I was a little crabby. She, she was... You were really anxious. Too. I was. I, I was very, very wanted. emotional. Yes. It make, when you get anxious, you kind of. Yes. I'm an, I'm an. I'm an angry anxious. 
I don't know what I am. What am I? Am I an anxious? I think, it's, I think it really depends on how anxious you are and mm. what type of anxiety it is. Because you can either be really crazy fun anxious. True, true. Or... I get quiet anxious almost. You can get quiet anxious or you can get vicious anxious. True, true. I have that one. Yes. That one's not as prominent though. The no. vicious one. No, that was the day she blocked me on everything. Sorry about didn't that. Say a word. I didn't. I was. I'm blocking her. I didn't even know what I did. I don't even remember what you did. No. I. I. One minute I was talking to her, and the next thing I know, I'm like texting her, and she's not texting back. And oh, did you text? Me? Yes. And I'm like, okay, she's not texting me back. I'm like, okay, well, I'll check Facebook. She blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> okay, well, I'll check. check. She blocked me on Twitter. Well, I'll check. It's, she blocked me on Instagram. What the fuck? So I, I messaged her mom. I'm like, what did I do? She's like, Christine just can't talk right now. I'm like, that's not an answer. <laughs> so I literally wrote her a note. In the P.O. box. With the P.O. box key in it and said, well, I guess since you don't want to talk to me, here's your key back. <laughs> I hope you find everything you're searching for. <laughs> Maybe one day we can talk again. Here's your key. Here's your key. Good luck, girl. <laughs> Peace out. Word. I, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when you got that. I, don't even, I was just like, okay then. <laughs> well then, she's apparently pissed. <laughs> I wasn't really pissed. More hurt yes. and confused. Yes. Very confused. Yes. Because that was one of those I didn't know why. Yes. At least the other time she gave me a reason. Yes. Yes. You're unhealthy. I didn't know I was unhealthy. Six. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Well then. <laughs> Fine then, girl. Yes. We're and at least we can laugh about it now. Yes. Before it was not funny. <laughs> no. We were very aggravated. Yes. Yes. Man, there was like. Push a certain button. Yeah. But I think it was because we were so emotionally drained too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just one thing after another. Right. Indeed. It was bad. Yeah. Because I know we both had a whole lot dumped on us last year. Oh, yeah. I like, mean, as you guys saw, there was medical videos after medical videos after medical videos. Yeah. And I was so worried about her. Indeed. Indeed. And I was like, oh, her poor back. And like, yeah. It was terrible. Yeah. I mean, we even tried to go to each other's doctor's appointments for support. Yeah. I mean, we tried to do as best as we could. Yes. Through the little birthday party and yeah, yes. did what we could, you know. But sometimes it just need time to self reflect, I guess. Indeed, and I was freaking out because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yes, I was freaking out. I know. I was so worried about you. Indeed. I mean, I was worried before I moved back when your liver failed. Yeah, I was ugh, scared the shit out of me. Because at that time we didn't even know what it was. Yeah. I mean, now we know. Yeah, my eating disorder doctor's like, well, if you would have been here. We would have put you in the hospital. I was like, shit. Because at that time, we thought it was the medications she was on. Yeah. All my liter liver enzymes were ten times what they were supposed to be every single one. It was terrible. It was dying. Indeed. You know, and I think, you know, back when I was in South Carolina, like, that was before I really knew about her eating disorder and how extreme it was. Mm hmm You know, that was before we got to that point where we were real, real open with each other. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know... Until, like, I moved back. And then I started, like, knowing more. Yep. <laughs> you guys will see in the hypnotizing videos, my brain does not shut off. It does not. I die. can't do it. Because they're telling me what to do. I don't like being controlled. I wonder if you would do better with the meditations where you just let your mind go. Like, you can think about whatever you want. I don't know, though, because my brain goes in 600 different directions. Maybe it wouldn't be calmer. Yeah, it probably wouldn't. It would give me too much time to think, I think. Mm hmm that's why I try to, like, I'll listen to music or something like that. Mm, indeed. I will put on my angry music when I'm angry. You just put on your angry music. <laughs> Bam! Metal! Uh, yeah, I'm just rock out in my head. Indeed. And it helps. It really does. Like, get all that frustration out in the music. Indeed. Help you understand why last year did what it did. It was horrible. It was terrible. It was I, I was like, it, it got so bad that when she told me she went and got her ears pierced without me, I cried. Oh my god! I was yes. so sad. I'm like, she was supposed to do that with me. And then she did her photo shoot, and I'm like, we were supposed to do that together. And I felt bad about the photo shoot, but I'm like, I gotta do it because I, I, I felt bad because I was like, right, yeah, it, it, I didn't know what to do. Yeah.
It was terrible. It was so bad. It's like I tried, you know, and it's like everything didn't work out last year. Indeed. It just shipped my dog to a vet, and I don't even know how much that's going to cost because she's going to need an EKG, I think. Yeah. I'm not. Quit breathing on me. It was scary. I bet. Oh, my God. Me and Brenda were freaking out because at first she was just like, why is she swallowing so hard? I'm like, then she was like gasping, and I was like, oh my god, what's wrong with her? So I took her collar off, and I'm like blowing in her nose, because I thought she just got overexcited. Mm. So I was like blowing in her nose, and she still like wasn't catching her breath, and I like seen her tongue and her gums start turning blue, and I was like, oh my god, she's not breathing. So I like ripped her collar off, and I'm like trying to massage her throat, and trying to massage her chest, and I'm like trying to calm her down, and trying to keep Luca away from her, and she finally like, like hacked real hard, and like started coughing. And then yeah. she finally started breathing, and then she was, like, so lovey-dovey afterwards. Like, oh, my God, you saved me. Aww. Her little eyes were bucking out of her head. Oh, oh. She was so scared. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. But from what I've looked into, it could possibly be an enlarged heart. Ooh. Which is expensive. Mm -hmm. Which means I have to keep her calm. So, I know all the warning signs if she's going to go into cardiac arrest. If that's the case. Oh. So I just gotta keep an eye on her, keep her calm until I have the money to take her to the vet. Indeed. I wasn't really expecting this to hit right now. Yeah. She's only two. Ooh, she's that young? Yeah. But I know in boxers, um, heart problems do run in the lines. So mm. at first I thought it was like maybe a heart murmur, but then I got her fixed and they never detected a heart murmur, which they would be able to detect right off the bat by listening to her heart. Mm hmm. Um, an enlarged heart is harder to detect because your heart's still beating, it's just an enlarged. Yeah. So they wouldn't be able to see that unless it was on an EKG. Mm. You would actually have to like look at it through ultrasound and all that mm. to see what it's doing. So I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get her there because I still have my house payment to make and like three bills that are still past due. Ooh. Yeah, it's not fun. I'm not making no money. That's why I was like, Christy, I need some work. <laughs> as much as I know it would kill my back, I mean, I need some kind of work. Yeah. Fix yeah. the bills. Hmm. The bills suck. I hate bills. They make me yeah. sad. And they make me cry. I know. <laughs> they get expensive. Yes. Very expensive. Yes. We're heard. We're up. But at least I'm not that stressed out about it anymore. Oh, no, it's a queen. Oh. I thought it was a king. It looks like a king. It's freaking huge. We'll just pretend it's a king. Yeah. Indeed. That's big enough. Here's the imagination. Yes. Indeed. Yours is what, a queen? I hope. Your bed. Uh, no, it's a full. It's a full. Okay. Indeed. This means closer snuggling time. Snuggle. Snuggle. Ooh. Rub up against me. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, I was... <laughs> touched your nose. And touched my nose. I was, <laughs> that's my thinking nose. Um, oh, let's just start another video. Okay. Because <laughs> it's probably getting on. Indeed. Bye, muffins.